Hi, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to Next on Air. Today, we'll be talking about G Suite's communications products in terms of both the latest updates that we've made as well as what's ahead. My name is Tom Holman, Senior Product Manager for Gmail, and I'm joined by Dave Loxton, who's also a product manager on G Suite. Before we get into the specifics of our communications products, I wanted to take a step back and acknowledge the sudden shift that many of our businesses and employees have recently faced in the workplace. A lot of people who for a really long time relied on physical office space and infrastructure to both communicate and collaborate have had to shift how they work and quickly. The crisis at hand has become a massive catalyst to remote, distributed, and flexible work. And almost three quarters of CFOs actually predict that these changes will permanently affect how companies choose to work moving forward. While we're well into this new reality, I want to quickly recap a few ways we've adapted to try to make this change to flexible work easier on people and organizations. First, we made premium meet features available to all G Suite users, which meant that every customer, from schools to startups to small businesses to large enterprises, could leverage larger meeting sizes, live streams, recordings, and more. We know that video meetings are a critical foundation to remote collaboration. And so this was a key first step. But we took a second step as well. We made our secure video meeting solution, Google Meet, free to all. There's no need to be a G Suite customer. We wanted to make sure that everyone had easy access to high quality, reliable video meetings with full functionality. This is still true today. And anyone with a Google account can use Google Meet just by going to meet.google.com or finding it in Gmail. And while we were making this overall solution free, we also wanted to make it better. As such, we pulled forward a few key features on our product roadmap to land even earlier. These included first adaptive layouts, or what you probably know affectionately as Brady Bunch mode, where you can actually see your whole team on screen at once. Second, noise cancellation for whenever your dog decides to bark during a meeting or you choose to click a pen. And then finally, low light mode, in case you ever have to take a meeting from a closet, which I've had to do on more than one occasion with an 18 month old running around. Quick plug, if you wanna hear more about what's next on the roadmap for Google Meet, you can check out our dedicated session, PC112. We have it linked below, but you can also find it on the site for Next On Air by searching for Future of Meetings. Now, while video meetings are critical, we know that clearly they aren't the only way to communicate. Rather, depending on your message and the context, at times chat and voice calling can actually be the right medium. We've also made important improvements to these products as well. On the chat side, we've introduced features like guest access to make it easier to collaborate with external partners and vendors, forward inbox to make it easier to follow up on specific messages for those of you who use your inbox as your to-do list, the ability to edit messages if you're a little bit prone to typos like I am from time to time. And finally, last month, we made it easier to migrate from Hangouts to chat by doing several things, including bringing all of chat, both one-off chats and persistent rooms into Gmail. On the voice front, we know that there are still over 8 billion active phone numbers around the world, and we want to make it easy to reach anyone when connecting over video just isn't possible. So to make it easier to access both voice and chat, last month we brought, brought, brought both of these products directly into Gmail. For organizations who use Google Voice as their cloud telephony solution, we now surface this functionality on the right rail of Gmail. Chat is also now available in Gmail in your left-hand nav, not just for one-on-one -on -one direct chats, but also for persistent group chats, which we call rooms. Our goal here is to make it as easy as possible for people to access all the things that they need to communicate and to collaborate in one place. Now, while these were certainly critical improvements to help people more effectively communicate in G Suite, the key is that we've always had more in store. We've always had more planned. And the reason for this is that even before COVID-19, work was demanding more and more from each of us for a few different reasons. First, there's just too much information coming in via email, via chat, via meeting dialing info, documents and articles and tasks and more. It's just too much. Second, 
Our work is increasingly spread across more apps than ever before. With the rise of best-in-class point SaaS solutions, people are constantly checking more apps, leading to more app switching and a redu reduced ability to focus. And then finally, we're working with more people than ever before, both internally in our increasingly connected organizations and externally with partners and vendors. This naturally leads to still more communications to keep track of, contributing to our first point here. And that was just what we had to deal with before COVID-19. But with COVID-19, we also have a few more complicating factors. First, more people have been working from home which means work itself is more physically distributed than ever before, increasing the challenges with communication and collaboration. And second, there's more life to manage. People are having to juggle more personal responsibilities from childcare to elder care to other family commitments. And not to mention the stress that comes from the uncertainty of not knowing just quite what's ahead. Altogether, this is just too much. It was too much before the pandemic and it's certainly too much now. This actually ends up leading to a few distinct problems in terms of how people actually spend their time. First, we're switching tasks more than ever. On average, people are only spending two minutes on a given task or in a given tool. That's nuts. And it also means you've probably actually already switched apps or checked another tool since I began this talk. Second, we're struggling more than ever before to find what we need to do our job. The reason for this is because things are so dispersed, you're not actually really sure where that deck was shared with you or when, which tool your boss used to give you an action item or a, an email or a comment in a doc. Not having easy access to the things we need to do our jobs naturally slows us down. And finally, we're spending too much time on the small stuff, on logistics, on things that take two minutes to do. We're letting others set our priorities with inbound communication, making it hard to focus on the bigger things. Now, we all want to work on projects and parts of our job that are the most impactful, but today it's, ever, it's harder than ever before to focus on deep or high impact work. So with G Suite, this is really the problem that we're trying to solve. We want to create some sort of solution that's not a, yet another tool for you to download or learn or onboard users to. Rather, we want to find a way to make the tools that you already use more helpful, to make it easier to access everything that you need, to give you a better way to manage the inbound flow of information, with an added emphasis on features that help you better prioritize and focus on the conversations and on the tasks that truly matter. With that in mind, I'm thrilled to introduce you to your new home for work, an integrated workspace that brings together Google Meet, chat, Gmail, and more to help teams stay seamlessly connected no matter where you're working from. It integrates the core elements of work like voice and video calling, chat, email, plus document collaboration and task management. And the key is that this all comes together in Gmail, not another new application. You can see what this looks like on mobile on this slide, and this experience will also be part of Gmail on the web. The goal is to help you better stay aligned of the top things across your personal and group work to easily find what you need to get your job done. But the new integrated Gmail doesn't seek to just bring these things together. Rather, it makes them better together. And over the next several minutes, Dave and I will walk through what this experience can actually do. So first things first, I want to emphasize that Gmail will continue to offer the same best-in-class email experience that over 1.5 billion people know and love at its foundation. The reason for this is that email still plays an important role in lots of people's workdays because it's universal, it's professional, and it's a medium that gives us more time and space to be thoughtful. Next, We've talked about how we've integrated chat into the Gmail web experience in the past. And with this launch, we're actually bringing that integration to mobile Gmail for the first time. Bringing chat and email together will make it easier for you to access all the written communications that you need in one place. The chat tab that we're introducing here is best for one-on-one -on -one or small group chats that tend to be more off the cuff, impromptu, or urgent conversations. Beyond email and chat though, 
We've also already discussed the importance of video communications and of Google Meet for our customers. We recently launched Meet in Gmail across both desktop and mobile. And with this launch, you'll still have easy access to all of your scheduled and upcoming meetings within the Gmail app. I'm excited to also share that we're extending Meet in Gmail to support direct calling right from within the Gmail tab or within the Gmail app, the Meet tab. Because we all know that some things just need to be talked out live. The last major building block of this integrated workspace is Rooms, which make it easier for groups to collaborate on projects. Now, Rooms will have a group chat at their core, but with this launch, we've also added experiences for shared files and shared tasks. Dave will go into more detail on these great new collaboration features in just a minute. Finally, I wanted to acknowledge that while these communication offerings in video, chat, and email represent the foundational elements of modern work, we recognize that they don't encompass everything that you need to do your job. Rather, many people have a clear need for to use other best-in-class tools, whether a CRM or an expense reporting tool. Enter third-party integrations. Gmail will support adding and accessing your favorite third-party apps from within any kind of conversation across email, chat, and rooms, which should help you to do more from one place without having to go through the trouble of app switching or losing context. And now I'll pass it off to Dave to walk through how we're making all of these communication channels better together. Thanks, Tom. So first and foremost, we know that work is fluid. Sometimes an email needs a follow-up conversation or a chat needs a quick in-person sync to resolve. Sometimes a message is a task that you need to add to your to-do list. We understand this fluidity. And so one of the core principles we used to design this new experience was to make it easy to move seamlessly between these different communication channels. So you'll be able to start a room from an email, you can jump on a call from a chat, and you can turn a message into a task. If you're running a few minutes late to a meeting, you can easily ping the people you're meeting with to let them know you'll be a bit late. Everything's connected together in a way that we hope makes it easy for you to manage the flow of work and get more done. Now, Tom showed you earlier that search is a massive problem for people. And you might know we have a bit of a reputation for search. So it was important to us that we make it easier for you to find what you're looking for from one place. Right now, you can search across email or chat, and we're actively working on making this crucial workflow even better. And rooms have a few new things too. We wanted to create a space where it's easy for groups to come together and work on a project. So there's a chat stream to help you communicate instantly with your team. Right alongside that, you'll have quick access to important files you're working on. And it's easy to create and assign tasks so that you can track on a shared task list everything that you need to do and everyone can see what needs to be done. You got everything you need for a successful project in one place. And we're bringing document editing into Rooms too. So you can discuss the document you're working on as you write it with your team. You can also jump on a call at the same time and see the person you're talking to alongside the work that you're doing together. We wanted to make it easier to have everything you need to do your job right in front of you. And remember, it's not just about helping you to access everything you need from one place to reduce that friction of switching between apps. It's also really important that we help you manage all that information that's coming at you so you can prioritize and focus on what's most important. On the prioritization front, we let you pin important rooms so they're always at the top and easy to get to. We'll also be bringing the same nudges that you already know and love from Gmail into chat because we know it can be easy to miss things and we want to help make sure that you never drop a ball. On the focus front, we've got some new tools to help you protect your time too. So when you go out of office, your status will be shown to everyone who tries to reach you. So instead of trying to ping you on chat, they might choose to email you instead. We're also introducing do not disturb mode for those times when you just want to shut out all distractions and just get things done. This will be visible to all your contacts as well, so they know you've blocked off this time for yourself. Now, this is an area where we have plenty more planned to help you feel less overwhelmed, so make sure you look out for future announcements here. And that's it for now. We're so excited to get this product out to all of you and hopefully help you better manage the flow of your work in this next generation of Gmail. If you're interested in trying it out, it's available now. And you can go to this link to learn more. 
We hope you enjoyed learning more about this, the next generation of Gmail. Thank you so much for tuning in.